is a Bramble Jam podcast. Bop, 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 bop. Hello, everybody! Hey. Welcome to Decom Descendants. I'm Bran. I'm here with Aaron. And Dan. Decom Dino. Hey. Decom Dino. Dino here. It's nice to be here. Are you guys uh, not mad at me anymore? Can we? Are we? Are we on speaking? Terms? I don't know I what agree. in my intro would make you think I'm not mad at literally, you. I literally paused and said, "And Dan." Literally for a week after we recorded the Brink episode, there were talks around the office of how to save the podcast. <laughs> Like, how do we make it more like, do you think Dan's going to be this mean about all the movies? Like, guys, this is what we, we signed we, up we for. We did right? a quite an intense debate. I just think by and large, you're doing it wrong. And by it, I mean life, life, I, liberty, pursuit of happiness, the American dream, etc. I think by and large, you think I'm doing the American doing dream it wrong. wrong? Yes. Isn't well, the American the dream Amer- that no one can tell you that? I heard the American dream uh, was dead. What? You heard it was dead because I didn't like Brink? Or just in general. Um, I listened to this little podcast called Deck the Hallmark, uh-huh. and I do believe they mentioned that the American dream was dead. Wow. I think Bran said that. You'd yeah. be surprised how little I remember. Bran from throws that show. around the American dream all like all the time. Like he's always just Someone like, has American to. dream this, American dream that. <laughs> Someone has to. Yeah. Uh, that's what's wrong with this country. That's yeah. why the American dream's dead. Throwing out the American dream. We've can thrown out create, the American dream with the bath body works. Can you create a movie with the baby in the bathwater. Live in a town, yeah, keep, and witches are witches, and everyone else is words, just dressed you'll get up. That. You'll yes. get that right. Bath, do you with throw the, body the baby out with the bath and body works? Is that the saying? No, I don't think that's the saying. I do want to give a. I think if you throw the baby out with the bathwater, no, could okay. be it. Okay, well, <laughs> makes too much sense. You can't throw babies out. No, it's illegal. You can take them in the Bath and Body Works, though, best I can figure. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to a a few people that have um, fallen, follow the directions of what we've asked them to do in regards to leaving all kinds of ratings and reviews. reviews. Please please join the swarms. Yes. Uh, Shout out to uh, Meredith, Comcast, Channel 50. Uh, Shout out to uh, TCP. Town channel provider uh, uh, from Josh, who says um, Jolette, Illinois, channel 54, Comcast. Uh, this is. Uh, I do think it's Juliet. Okay. Jazz Z1234 says uh, it's just subject is just Xenon. Uh, but, uh, and yeah. then this, uh, the, 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 the body there is Columbus, Georgia, 49. Um, so lots to enjoy there. Thank you so much mm-hmm. to everybody who has left a review so far. There's other people saying nice things yes. that didn't leave their cable channel. You can do that as well yes. if you'd like. That doesn't yes. bother us. Yeah, we also like nice things. Yes. we And we have a perfect five stars right now. So... Please keep that up. That's exactly right. right. Please tell your friends, leave a review, and uh, you can also watch the show on on YouTube if you want to do that. Do you remember when we had a a five-star average on Deck the Hallmark and Panda went and gave us one star? Do you remember this? I remember that. And then we were like, why did you do that? And he was like, I thought it'd be a funny bit. (laughs) I think we're still doing fine, right? Yeah, like I think four, we're 4.8 or something, something like that. Like that. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I don't so look at it every night. The lesson we can learn from that is Panda gave a one-star review, and we haven't seen Panda yeah. in a while. <laughs> Did he quit or was he fired? Was he killed or fired? Maybe even lifetime <laughs> ban. Maybe even... <laughs> yeah. Maybe even. That's exactly right. Uh, also... Even uh, Stevens. Maybe you, even Stevens. You mentioned the nice (laughs) reviews, and there's so many. Uh, Oh, also, Pensacola, Florida, Cox, (laughs) Channel 26. Sounded like that the Cox were a a, uh, mascot of the Pensacola, Florida (laughs) team. The way you said that, Pensacola, Florida, Cox. Yeah. Channel 15. Um, Steeler (laughs) Cookie also wants everybody to know that this is their new favorite podcast and Brink is their favorite decom of all time. Motocross to close seconds. I can't wait to hear these. Look out for So there you go. There you go. Motocross is great, Dan. Oh my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) This is Dan's favorite part is where you and I lose our minds. Every next decom is the best one. Next week we get to watch this movie. (laughs) We're talking about this podcast is really just for Brandon and I. That's right. We're talking about Halloween Town, uh, which is a classic. 
is Wake a movie where there are. Well, would you say three sequels? Is that how you would three say that? Three sequels, yes. So four, four total, total, total Halloween yes. town in well, that universe. I think four is a saga. It's a, a saga. saga. It's a saga. So the first well, three Twilight. Star Wars wasn't a saga until there was a fourth one? It's a trilogy, it's trilogy, then saga. There's four of those days. Yeah, I think the Twilight just trying to for people to take it seriously. <laughs> how do you not take it seriously? That's true. I mean, come on now. Uh, it's time for our first segment, which we love. It's time for Delicious. That's exactly yeah yeah. yeah. I mean, have you heard the show? (laughs) I listen every week. Uh, Aaron Steelers cookie is that's true. I know that about you. Um, Motocross is awesome. You're stealing er cookies. Um, Aaron, each week you bring us something to eat or drink or something to consume. Uh, You can not to eat or drink. I have questions. Yes, (laughs) you can. You can then uh, do this at home while you watch the movie, while you enjoy the podcast, whatever you want to do. Aaron, what did you make for us today? Yeah, um, and all recipes are on our socials, so make Duh. sure to follow us at, at Decom Descendants on Love Instagram it. and X. Platform X. An amazing, an amazing f- uh, follow. Also known as Twitter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so up first, uh, we have a beverage that I did not make today. Sorry. Uh, It's called the Curse Breaking Cromwell Cider. It is from G&M Kitchen. So great job. Uh, They have a ton of themed drinks. Gary Matthew, yes. So check them out. Thanks for the Um, shout out. They will be linked (laughs) on the socials as well. And thank you for linking Um, me. And it is a hard cider with a splash of bourbon. Ooh. I'm sorry, say it again. Hard cider with a splash of bourbon. Have you ever had an angry orchard with some fireball in it? I have. Feel yes, angry I have. balls? Yeah, I love yeah. the angry balls. Yeah. Big fan of that. So, yeah, I like that. That's a good that's a great yeah, drink. That's a great nice drink. drink. That's a drink um, I would get at the uh, Halloween Town bar. Yes. Which they don't show us in this movie, but it has to exist, right? I think that's also where everybody's frozen, like the theater? Maybe. Oh, wow. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> Spoiler, yeah. we're going to cover the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, but not yet. So what else? What else? What else? Um, and then I also made... Where, Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Little cookie what is pop. It for the for the people listening yeah. at home. So this is just an Oreo dipped in some orange melting chocolate. Uh-huh. Then I used some black icing to make a little face. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the little green dot at the top? How'd you just do that? Just more icing. Just more. You can't really see it on here at all, but more icing. That, you know, I would little... not have thought it was a real pumpkin until I saw that. So we each get one? Yeah. yeah. And then one for the listeners at home. This is very exciting. Yeah, listeners at uh, home, I made you one. Is this similar to an Oreo ball? I what? Oreo what ball. Is this a yes, white cookie on the inside? Uh, it is the new black and white Oreo. Ooh. Interesting. Cheers, Cheers everybody. And let's Delish. eat. That's good. Mm-hmm. I do like that. You can put ASMR on there. Very good. I will say it's hard to chew that quickly. That was delicious. Mm-hmm. Also, the segment, delicious. I'm glad you took one for the team, chewed that quickly so that Dan and I could. I had to. I, I, someone, I eat the whole thing at once. Someone has yeah. to do the show. And yeah. uh, why not be me? Mm-hmm. Uh, Man, thank you, Aaron. Really good. Follow us on the socials. And if you want an easy way to follow us on the socials, you can go to, and we did get this domain. And we D- did get this domain dot com. Find us there. Podcast dot com. Decom you know that, that we got podcast dot com. Dot com. <laughs> Cut to twenty twenty eight. No, nope. some lawyer's office. No, nope. decom podcast <laughs> dot com. We it's our own forever, it, baby. Well, ours we doesn't stand it. for Disney Channel original movie. It stands for delicious com chat overtime making the list. Everyone podcast. knows that. Decom we have podcast. said that. Yeah. We've said it since the beginning. Yes. Well, and we discovered today that Disney is moving away from the Disney Channel original movie. They're just Disney original they're just, movies Yeah, now. so they're Dom's... No, I can't say that. <laughs> they're Dom's problems now. <laughs> so they're all Dom's now, is what you're saying. Interesting. Yeah, they're all Dom's. How many subscribers, how many subs do you think we're going to get uh, this week on the show? When we become Dom Chat, it's, uh, it's really going to take off. This one is really going to take off. Uh, it's time for our Com Chat. It's where we uh, break down the movie in case you... We had a good run. <laughs> yeah, we did. This was like done. Four episodes plus a teaser. It's great. In case you didn't uh, watch the movie or rewatch the movie or whatever, you just want to hear us talk about it, uh, we will. It's Halloween Town. It originally aired on the Disney Channel. Uh, Channel 35, Bright House Network. Uh, On October 17th, 1998. And I will say right out of the gate, spooky. 
Spooky. There's no there's no there's no questioning whether or not this is a Halloween movie. You no. know it right away. And we have this is our fourth movie we've watched, two of which are Halloween movies. <laughs> So, and both of them start off spooky. Like, there's no question about what the movie is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, big smokes, big pumpkin, big Halloween Town logo. Mm -hmm. That's how you know. Um, and uh, they're trick or treating. Uh, the town is a buzz. Not Halloween Town. We're not there yet. No. The town of C Cotton Candy. <laughs> yes. Springfield. Springfield. Springfield, Illinois. Or name your own state. Name your own state. Name your own state. Is, I don't know. Cadles. I, I would <laughs> imagine it's so, I, I, it has to be somewhere near Cleveland, Ohio, right? They talk about Cleveland in glowing terms, so it has to be in Ohio. It's got to be in Ohio. That's the only... Because why else would he be so hung up on the school district in Cleveland? That's true. That's true. He's uh, a we nerd. Meet, we, yeah, he is. We All meet the Piper... <laughs> we, the, yes. Um, <laughs> the Piper family does not celebrate halloween um mom won't Christians. let him uh, yes maybe mom won't <laughs> let him mom says no dress up no candy we will we'll get we'll uh you know if someone comes maybe we will but no one ever comes everybody knows yeah, yeah. this Stay house away from the house can we, can we this house three? don't do it did i make a treat that dan's having seconds of Oh my gosh! Really delicious. Good. Really good. That's Did a I do it? That's a delicious segment Shut for you. That time you made eggnog, I've almost forgotten about it. <laughs> oh. but remember that time I made eggnog pie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that was good. Okay, I was good at six in the morning, but that was good. Okay. That was good. That was Damn. good. Uh, so no one knows why though. Even the kids don't know why they uh, avoid Halloween. Mom's just kind of like, "We don't do it." There's a lot. You know, uh, uh, it gets kids' imagination going about magic and stuff. We just don't do Halloween. Dan, you didn't do Halloween when you were a kid. No, I didn't. That's what's coming to me. I'm out for it. I it. <laughs> Have you ever thought about just controlling yourself? I took a bite. Well, I know I'm going to eat it later. But I have two, Donna I've Thompson two didn't want to tell Dan. Dan is a warlock. I'm He's a warlock. warlock. And they did not yes. celebrate Halloween growing up because she was trying to All raise them him normal. And yeah. Whatnot. She yeah. said, we're putting an end to the Thompson line of witches and warlocks. That's right. Um, and yeah, you passed your 13th Halloween. No training. No training or nothing. There you are. Uh, that or the fact uh, that my dad was a Southern Baptist pastor and Halloween was of the devil. I love my parents. I didn't really miss, like, I never trick, I've never dressed up for trick or treating in my life. Not true. My kids Not do true. It. You, deck, you uh, dressed you up with me. You put a Ninja you dressed Turtles. Up, you dressed up with me. Up next to me and took a selfie. You dressed up with me. That counts. We'll put that, that counts. picture on fine. the socials. That counts. Great. We will put it on the socials. Yeah, that's Great. fine. It that's doesn't fine. matter if it was for mm -hmm. a minute or an hour, you dressed up. So you can't just but go as around. As a kid, I, that's not the point of the story. As you, kid, but you said I haven't when I was a kid or ever. I have never personally dressed up for Halloween. That is not a badge of honor I wear. At this point, I'm 40. I'm not going to dress up for Halloween. However, <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't do it. We handed out candy all night. I didn't miss it because we got to watch movies and hand out candy, which those are two things that normally didn't get to happen in my house. And so, you know, never went trick-or-treating, though. Still a good night. Still, uh, yes, Exactly. Let's meet the children. Uh, it's kid count. We have three early on. <laughs> Marnie, who's 13. Yep. Blarney. D and Dylan, Carney. Dylan, who is uh, younger. Yeah. A year or maybe two younger. And Sophie, who is the cutest of the kids. I think we would all agree on that. Just adorable. <laughs> Shout out to Sophie. How would you rank um, it in cutest? <laughs> uh, Sophie, Marnie, Dylan. And I, I don't <laughs> think it's even really all that. I think we would all I would say agree. That. Yes. yes. Dan? Sophie, Marnie, Dylan. You're right. Dad. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure, why not? So uh, uh, Dylan, though, is like on team mom. Like, it's like, just get over it. And what does Marnie say in, in, in rebuttal to that, Aaron? Is this that Halloween is cool? <laughs> yeah, that's Nailed exactly it. what it was. Thank Nailed you. Uh, we didn't see a bus <laughs> flying in from the and sky. Also, Marnie's supposed to be some famous decom actor that you guys keep telling me to like put some respect on her name. And I'm just like, I don't know who this is. She's Kimberly, Kimberly J. J. Brown. Brown. Uh, you know what I call her? C plus. She did a C plus. Oh my gosh! We're trying to get her on the pod, Dan. Have some decorum. Okay, Kimberly J Brown, bud, buddy. Can I call you Jay? Worst. He is the worst. Can I call you KJ? Do not Five listen two. to him. You are a rock star. Your TikTok Dear is Kim. an amazing follow. <laughs> 
Yeah. Your dog is adorable. Uh, maybe she gets, She wasn't bad. She was in Stephen King, Rose Red. I didn't see that. Well, that's yeah. on you. Yeah, it is. Cinema. Right. And Stephen Cinema. King has never been responsible for a bad movie. Never. <laughs> we know that about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every Stephen King Every adaptation, adaptation, adaptation is, is gold. So good. Yep. No matter the director. No matter. It doesn't matter. The source material is it's always good. so good. We then see a bus flying around and a woman floats down um, onto Poppins the ground. Style. Yes, Dan, what did you, did you say this is going to be? Is this, is a, this Halloween a Halloween Mary Poppins, Poppins situation? And then at the same time, you said no and Aaron said yes, I believe, or something. I didn't answer. Of like, I think Aaron just was a, a, I said a no. no. You I, said no, so I flipped it. You said absolute, no. I, yeah. I mean, I would be down for it. I don't think she's far off from that. I don't. That's not what the movie is, obviously. But yeah, as a character, as a character, I would agree. Yeah. Just the way you phrased it, you it were weird. comparing yes. the movie to Harry yeah, yeah, Poppins, yeah. no. and that was a no. I agree. I would have answered. Does that, that make Carpal Tunnel? What's the guy's name? Uh, the mayor. What's the mayor's name? Carmen. Mayor Carmen. Carmen San Diego. What's the What's the mayor's name? <laughs> Calabar. Does that make Calabar um, Dick Van Dyke? No. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we couldn't have planned that. <laughs> if we had written this show, it wouldn't have been that good. So you're telling me his name's we, not... It wouldn't have been that good if we'd written it. Well, because Dick Van Dyke is like the sidekick of Mary Poppins and... Mayor Cardamom becomes a very big part of the, the film. <laughs> yeah, but he's more like Mr. Banks. Sure, I guess. Oh my gosh. Let's go fly a cut. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, and it turns out it is uh, grandma. And grandma comes in there and is like, hey, take some candy, take some pumpkins, take some demon rocks. Like, let's have a day of it. Um, some and, garlic to keep those vampires away. Yes. And despite yeah. the costumes and the Halloween fun time, mom says, no, you're not going trick or treating. And she sends them to bed. Yeah. The best part of that is. The, she gives the kids costumes, and Marnie gets like a hat and a little cape. <laughs> she puts it on. Great! It takes two seconds to get dressed. And she knows. Like, she knows what she is. She looks like she's just going to like a, a fun <laughs> concert with bubbles, and she's like, "I'm a Wiccan." <laughs> yeah, and Sophie what? gets a ghost costume, so yeah. throws the sheet on. Great. You know, these quick camera changes, those costumes made sense. Dan, I believe you pointed it out. Dylan becomes, I think, a Viking. Some sort of troll Viking combo. And yeah. she puts the helmet on. Quick we, cut. We quick cut away. We quick cut back. He is in full, like, belly. Like, full potato outfit. He has, I don't know how. He has a back. Yeah. And I... Yeah, I don't know how he did it. And that's why Dylan's in all four of these movies. And yeah, Kimberly J. That, Brown's not. Yeah. He's yeah. clearly doing theater somewhere with those quick changes. It's unbelievable. It's amazing. Um, and so mom uh, tells grandma, listen, you can go and tell them a bedtime story, but for the love of God, do not tell them about but We home. do love in this house. Yes. Do, yes, we're clearly we, big Godheads. God has love, absolutely. Uh, uh, we, we are not going to talk. You're not going to share we anything about home. About Halloween, That's exactly no, right. No. And what does grandma do? Immediately. Tells them a story about Halloween Town. And, and this Literally is, this tells what, them a story called Halloween Town. And here's the thing. Uh, I, 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 I'm i lucky. I don't have any rogue parents that when I, my kids are with my parents, I don't have to like worry about what's going to happen. Dude, that's the worst. First. But if I like had just seen my parent hand my children demon rocks, I and I said, "Hey, you can tell them a story, but don't tell them about home." You know what I'm doing? I'm gonna be listening outside of That's the right. outside in the hallway. Correct. You can't trust you can't trust your parent at that point. Dude, a rogue, a rogue grandma, a, gro- a rogue in. I saw a rogue grandma live, by Oof, the way, dude. Rogue Amazing. Grandma Live is unbelievable. The Amazing. lasers alone worth your trip. It's a long show. It is. Yeah, six hours is a lot for anybody to stay on stage singing the entire time. But they're going rogue. did it. Uh, and uh, Grandma tells them the story of Halloween Town, complete with a picture book, which Kimberly J. Brown sees herself in there and is like, yeah. hey, that's me. Mm-hmm. Dylan comes back with this weird line, no, this is a person's way prettier. Which is weird because it mm-hmm. is clearly Kimberly yeah. J. Brown. Like, it's just so clear goes, as crystal. Hey, look, she looks like Marnie. And Dylan goes, no, this one's actually cute. Oh, yeah. got him. 
It is a got, got him until you think uh, about it. And then it really is and a then it, And then it's because a... it is, Dylan. in fact, Marnie. It is. That's right. So, so he's compliment. No doubt about it. That's exactly right. Both yeah. hands. Insult, compliment, Which is combo. funny because, like, I mean, you can tell your sibling that they're cute or they're pretty, but I feel like the way he was saying it is not the way you would say it to a sibling. Correct. Yes. It was the way that you would say it to a crush as a few years Someone old. Someone that yeah. is not your sister. Um, correct. Anyway. Like the way 2000 Elliot would talk to Alice. Yes. Yeah, exactly. We don't need to get into that right now. It's a different the way home. entirely. <laughs> did you bring up Hallmark Channel's The Way Home? I did. On the decom yeah, really I did. I've been thinking about Sunday night's episode. It's a fascinating thing to bring up. I've been yeah. thinking about it all week. That's interesting. I can't stop Great. thinking about That's it. That's interesting. I don't know why you would do that. It shows yeah. nothing. It's a uh, Hallmark. I don't know. Just the way Dylan Barely called his sister cute reminded me of Elliot. Yes, one hundred percent. I do see that correlation. <laughs> like uh, so mom, like <laughs> so mom goes downstairs. Uh, grandma goes downstairs. Is talking to mom. Grandma's you know doing tricks, making chicken wings, turning the chicken again. It's big funny ha-has. and uh, she's like, "Hey, you got to tell Marnie. Marnie's this is her thirteenth birthday. It's nope, time for Halloween. her. To, it's her thirteenth Halloween. Thirteenth Halloween. Halloween. Uh, not to be confused." with the 13th year and um, turns out he hasn't turns out he hasn't turns out I haven't seen this movie we'll get to that a little bit Um, and so Marnie is overhearing all of this and so when uh, mom sends grandma away she goes up, tells Dylan, hey, guess what? Your girl's a witch. Uh, we got to go follow grandma, see what she's doing. And so they look out the window. They see the the bag following her. And Dylan's like, I'm sure it's just an optical robot. That yeah. a, that's a great uh, that's, I'm Dylan. I'm well, Dylan. I love my sister. Hubba, hubba. <laughs> it's like, you know, stuff no. like that. Um, well, he sees the bag following grandma. And, and yeah. he immediately goes, must be one of those remote control models. Yeah. And Classic. I would just like to know in 1998, yeah. where do you get one of I mean, those? Because I wouldn't mind if my luggage in an airport would just follow me. I still couldn't believe the talk boy existed. And that was three years yeah. before then. Yeah. 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 You said this during the movie, but Dylan's commitments to explaining scientifically why mm-hmm. these things happen, including up to and past a flying bus. Yeah. Is crazy. At some point, Dylan, you got to just, just got to go. You know what? I'm not in that movie. I'm yeah. not in that movie anymore. Yeah. You either just got to get on board or just stop, stop right. talking. Right. Yeah. Uh, so they sneak behind grandma. They follow grandma. They see grandma get into this bus that mysteriously appears. So they climb into the back, which, by the way, if somebody could just clear up something. Oh, we, I did. I did clear it up. The, the oh. thing is closed. You were, you were right. I was right. Yes, right. yes, yes. You were Thank right. Thank you. Yeah. You've been awoken. That's right. Um, <laughs> Wrong about that, though. Uh, so I, uh, <clears throat> they climb in the back. They fly in the sky. Dylan's still like, well, I could be. You have to sign. And uh, he's still just like refusing. They're going through like a time yes. portal. Yes, they're going clear as day. And like you Couldn't can't be anything even else. see no. scenery it's, anymore. Yes. You are in a time yes. portal. And Dylan is coming up with excuses. Well, and you know, the jet streams <laughs> and the way that Dylan, the bus travels normally. Buddy, it's probably remote controlled anyway. Just take yes. a breath. Uh, so, uh, they land and they are shocked to see monsters, shocked to see pumpkin heads, people dressed like monsters, shocked to see magic. And they're even more shocked when child number one, Sophie shows up and uh, Sophie apparently also snuck on the bus much to their surprise was not aware and uh, so they have to figure out where grandma i have wondered since 1998 how sophie got on that bus did she go in the front because they closed the back door right they closed it behind them yeah but they also sat in the very back row yeah i i guess she went in the front door Oh uh, well, she she clearly is in tune with her magic. Like so far in this movie, she's making That's cookies, true. right? Like maybe she like did vis- invisibility, and we just didn't. Maybe know. she just said, "I wish no one would notice me," and then yeah. snuck on. Boom, okay. boom, magic. magic. Um, they See, meet- Dylan, it's not hard. <laughs> That's right. We do meet um, Capricorn. What's his name? Calabar. Yeah, Cardinal Richelieu. We do meet uh, <laughs> every time you call him Cardinal. Bye-bye. We do meet. What's his name? Calamar. Calamar. Calamari. Calamari. We meet Calamar. We meet Calabar. We meet Cardi B. (laughs) And um, Cardi B is the mayor. Calabash Chicken. Is of this town. And he's doing tricks like, hey, there's a a, a lollipop. There's a lollipop, ladies. Yeah. 
So having a <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> and uh, it's big fun. Love that guy. They do get in a cab with a skeleton. That Benny, skele- Benny. Benny. Hey, fantastic. And, and that was fun. That was a fun voice. Yeah, that was and, a fun voice I did for Benny. And uh, the skeleton like skeleton takes them to uh, to Funky Grandma's town, house, which is right next to Halloween Town. <laughs> yes. It's right next door. You don't even need like a passport. You can just go in between Funky Town and Halloween Town all you want. Sometimes they do parties together. And Grandma explains this. Situation. Would you call those a monster mesh? <laughs> Grandma says, "Hey, welcome to Halloween Town." Not to be confused with Funky Town. I'm going to take you to Funky Town. That's exactly later. right. Yes, yep. And she explains there's something afoot here in Halloween Town, some sort of evil mm-hmm. that uh, we got to put a stop to. I've been working here on a spell. I've got myself a tiramisu. What's it called? A terrapin? Uh, a mom. A talisman. A talisman. A talisman. Um, I've been working on it for such a time as this. Try to get that sucker to do its job. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm... off evil. Like, that's kind of what I'm doing as a grandma. Uh, and so they're like, yeah, we would love to help you. So they go out on the town. They've got some things they've got to find yep. and all that stuff. Obviously... Some you, ingredients for the spell. Yes. yes. Obviously, you stop for uh, candy and whatnot. Yeah, of course you do. you got to meet the, the regulars in the town, the townies. Well, it's the first time they're visiting grandma, so grandma's yeah. like showing them the town, showing and, them all and her friends. I, to be fair, if you've never seen this film, Halloween Town is surprisingly a, just a regular town, but the people are look like monsters. Yeah, there's creatures. nothing. You could say any, creatures. Yeah, the creatures. Thank whatever. you, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be monster phobic. The 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 witches are the only ones I see do magic. Like everyone else is basically like, you look like a creature. I don't know if that gives you any special powers or not. Everyone, it's just like there's a barber shop and there's a doctor. It's very much exactly yeah, the whole lore of yes. Halloween Town is that all of these creatures of our like mythology all creatures of our god and king yes used to live in the human world but they were banished by humans of course now they have to live in halloween yeah town. and they don't there's a reason to use their powers or the to funky try town was scary. full yeah, so funky they, town was yeah. full right next door no passport needed they go to halloween town <laughs> they're happy there but some people are upset that they've been like banished to this one little realm but i gotta be like, like i don't game. get it like i don't get like halloween town's dope got big pumpkin got big town vibes got candy big, big got ice cream cream big town big pumpkin so uh i like i think it's pretty dope and they can kind of like they can go still go to the mortal realm so it's like only on halloween oh so Mm -hmm. it's like coco yes it's exactly like coco Disney stealing from Disney. Um, Classic so, self-plagiarism there. That's exactly right. Uh, wait until Johnny Halloween found out about this. Oh. Um, so they're going around town. Obviously, we meet cute boy. Um, his Luke? name's Luke. Uh, I would say now three. Um, and so uh, then mom shows up. Mom shows up. <laughs> Thanks. Mom shows up. And you'd agree. Doesn't stand a chance. Doesn't you'd agree. Stand a chance. <laughs> it doesn't. Um, mom shows up and it's like we're going home, but there's no bus. And I don't so know. I put Luke at four. Wow. This is because he's got the, that attitude. At the end yeah, of the I movie, when you see what he really looks like, this is you. This is you be, being mean to people that look different. No, his attitude is just. You think it's just about the attitude? Is it the way he says talisman that bothers you? It's the way he he calls Debbie Reynolds Grammy and mm. like. Starts making fun of her and her magic and threatening her and wow. he's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. And he boy. like insults Marnie and then asks her out. Like, no, he's we, a bad we're not, boy. He, we're not here for no. that he attitude no. in twenty twenty four. He's he's the Sean of this of this movie. He's, he's a bad boy. Sean like from Boy Meets World. Yes. You know, number one bad boy. <laughs> he is not the Sean of this movie. Blowing no. up mailbox. Sean's not even like a. No, Sean like wants. He wants, he wants to be, to be a, a, a bad boy, but he isn't. Yeah, but he's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, he's the and best. Thoughtful. We love Sean. Ryder Strong. I mean, come on. Oh, the best. Um, anyway, what were we talking about? Um, they, she, mom Debbie shows Reynolds, up. There you go. Okay. Mom shows up and is like, hey, we're going what? home. Um, Get on the magical bus now. But there is no magical bus. And so she has to there go There will talk. be, but there not will for be, hours. Yes, not for sure. hours. And so it's she goes. a magical goes, bus that's on a schedule. Yes. <laughs> um, of sorts. Miss uh, Frizzle, she, take, she took it. And so um, goes to talk to the mayor and clearly... Mayor um, Capra, uh, Capricorn, I believe, Calabar. is correct. Calabar. Calabar. 
and no. mom have a thing. The they oh my god, the schmexual tension, <laughs> the chemistry between these two. Holy moly! They if they did not date when they were in high school, date please. They yeah no. They, he wanted to. They clearly they, they clearly they are literally <laughs> lunging toward each other with every line of dialogue. Yeah, I think they were high school sweethearts it's until she like went to the mortal world. Man. Cool. Yes, one hundred percent. But there, yeah, Sheesh. their chemistry was off the hot. charts. Yes, and so he's it's gonna pay like, off though, because in the third act, they're getting together. That's exactly right, and nope. it gets crazy. And yeah. Immediately, I mean, Marnie's like, "If you marry him, I am not calling him dad." So yeah. that's right, that's exactly right. classic. She gets, uh, she sees the tension. <laughs> she sees it. So uh, he's like, I'll try to figure this out, but uh, you know, I got to also this other thing I got to go work on. So I'll don't worry about it. But we'll 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 do no big deal. It's an emergency. You got to go. It's going to do a thing. I I got a thing. thing. It's it's been on the calendar for months. Uh, Emergency bus schedule. Everything else. Talisman is on the list, though. I promise. So Grandma uh, then walks into the movie theater, which has been closed forever. Yes, (laughs) and Mm -hmm. talks to what I am going to call Batty Demon. Batty Demon, yeah. uh, he's he's clearly bad. He's clearly Demon. He's clearly about those things, and he looks a little bit like Emperor Palpatine in 100%. Star 100%. Yes. 100% again, Correct. Disney stealing from Disney. Not at the time, though. Uh, at the but, time, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a retroactive steal. Yes, and sure. so. Uh, Did they acquire. Star Wars to cover up 100%. <laughs> yeah, they were, we got they, this Halloween Town kerfuffle. Lucas, Lucas, if we film, don't get a, get, a, get a hold of that Star Wars. Property, George Lucas was sitting at home he's just, watching oh, Halloween he's Town and he was like, hey, hey, in perfect Dolby Digital That's and exactly his surround right. sound. That's exactly right. Oh, man. George Lucas called John Disney. The John profanity. Disney said, oh. uh, we can make all this go away. <laughs> we will pay you. And also, can we buy it? Billions of dollars. Billions of to dollars. To cover up our people Halloween don't, people town don't know plagiarism. that. People yeah. don't know the and that's history. that's why we have this right. podcast. That's, right. that's what it's for. It's decompodcast.com. That's exactly right. Decompodcast. This, also, this scene also gives Debbie Reynolds the ability to do a little Danny Go. Like she uh-huh. keeps dodging these Shout out to Danny Go. snowballs that, that are guy. coming. If you've got kids and you're in hey. the Southeast. Hey, Go you guys want to dodge some snowballs from a demon man? Hey, it's Debbie Reynolds. Yeah. And he just, she's dodging and it's... To the left. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To the Cla- right. That's right. Yep. You nailed it. What ha? No, now we're in the cha-cha Uh-oh. slide. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, so Danny Go hops. bought Cha cha-cha <laughs> slide. It's all a cover-up. <laughs> Part two coming out. Grandma gra- Grandma is like, hey, demon baddie, bro, you got to stop. And I want you to know, I'm working on this spell. And I have the talisman. I have the tallest man alive. The tallest and, man. And um, he's like, big whoop, bam, you frozen. Mm. Uh, so like Elsa vibes again, Disney borrowing from Disney. And um, so the children now. Has Disney ever had one single solitary original idea? In it's the world? Halloween Town. Halloween Town is the birthplace of modern Disney. Yes. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> And this last. And that will be your episode <laughs> first four. and last. That's your episode four uh, t shirt. Yeah. Halloween Town Birth Modern Day Disney. <laughs> yeah. Or Disney Borrow from Disney. Yeah, yeah, either one. I think it's great. Um, so the kids now are like, hey, we got to go. We got to solve this puzzle ourselves. We have to game. finish the spell. Yes. Yeah. Uh, a few things, obviously, you need for the talisman. Uh, go sweat. Uh, wear a, uh, hair. hair of a werewolf. Yep. Sweat of a ghost yep. and a vampire's fang. Yeah, mm. got to be honest, barely an inconvenience. Yeah. Uh, that, super. That, it couldn't go easier. A lot of things are going well for them today. Ghost is already in the the sweat, sweat chamber. Sweat chamber. <laughs> as we call it. The yes. uh, vampire is already getting a fang yeah, yanked just out. Just so happens, a vampire getting her fang pulled at that exact moment. Magic. Man. You'd think this would be a bigger part of the plot. It isn't. It isn't. It takes just not just not not long at no, all. I do wonder if in Halloween Town there's like a store where you could buy these ingredients because what you was would think? What was Grandma's uh, plan there? Yeah, 
Uh, and well, that's the thing. Like grandma's been working on this and like oh, wow. has not had this type no. of luck. No. So like everything's coming up aces for these children. Yeah. Once again, proving that magic, uh, uh, magic and mortals were better. Um, <laughs> and so uh, they get all the things and they go to make the uh, potion. And they're having a hard time remembering the magic words. Luckily, yeah, Sophie. Yeah, because they're not in English. They're, they're not in English. They're, yeah, they're in a different language. Uh, tiddly wings, fiddly wings. Fiddly wings, give fiddly a dog. Wings, uh, yeah. Marnie, yes. Carney. Luckily, Marnie. Sophie remembers everything. None of the words are Marnie, Carney. Yes. So. Sophie Sophie remembers yeah, everything. And we've, no, we've shortchanged her, aside from ranking her number one in the cute kid department. She, all movie, is like seeing things. Like, she's just staring out the window beginning saying she's here, and it turns out her grandma is here. Yeah. She knows things. It's like she's, like, she's already doing that five. witch thing, you know? Making a lock turn into a frog. Yeah. We yeah. think, anyway. We don't know. Looked like the lock was still on there when they pushed it, but I'm not here to question Sophie. I just think that she's clearly at a, another caliber. She's on a, Yeah, another caliber. Isn't that the name of the, the mayor? Um, the mayor caliber. So. Caliper? even close to his name. Thank you. Uh, so they... I wasn't going to point it out, but yeah. So yeah, they make the um, the make it the activated uh, uh, sibling yeah. powers well, activate. They, they they figure out that they have to like hold hands and say it in unison. Yep, and then of course. Yeah. Which again, I have been, I have seen enough like ghost adventures and stuff like that, that like, it's always about saying stuff in unison with yeah. these people. When it's Sophie, just like, when, when they were doing people, a call and response. Come res- on, man. <laughs> Be better. When they were doing like a call Sorry, and response. Sorry, these creatures. Yeah. The first time they do it, they did the, the call and response where like Sophie says it and then Marnie mumbles it and shocker, that didn't work. Yeah. So Can't do Dylan that. just out to lunch over there. Dylan's- yeah. Well, Dylan's a normal. He doesn't have any normal. powers. That's exactly right. And so um, they arrive at the town square because apparently the uh, Talabar needs to be put into the big pumpkin. Talabar in the pumpkin to stop ca- the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. From that's taking exactly, place that's exactly right. The talisman? Uh-oh. Uh, right, somebody's playing Halloween Town Clue over here. Batty Demon Look shows... Batty Demon shows up on top of the big building. Oh, man. City Hall. Um, and he's doing a City thing. <laughs> he's giving a speech. Got to be honest. I, If I was down there, I would have been like, hey, hey, you speak up a little bit. Yeah, we can't really hear you. He's yeah. talking about how it's unfair that they have been banished to this realm yes, when they used course. to rule the whole world. Yes, yes. And it's time for us to take it back. Yes, that's exactly and right. Some people in the crowd are like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. That's right. And so... Um, no, I think a majority of the people were doing that thing where, like, I can't hear you, so I'm just going to nod and smile. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Classic. Yeah. Yep. We love you! <laughs> love you, Batty Demon. What did he, what did he say? Love you, Batty Demon. <laughs> Batty Demon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you almost say Daddy Beeman? I said the first letter, but yeah. that's it. Daddy Beeman. Daddy Beeman. <laughs> also in this Daddy movie. Daddy Demon? Yes. Amazing. They were um, all together. Got it. Say so, that for Dom Chat. <laughs> They get into a bit of a a fight because um, Marnie's like, "Hey, we got it!" and he's like, "Big whoop, boom, let it go, boom, let it go, freezing people like crazy." She gets to the top of Big Pumpkin and uh, trying to put it oh. where it needs to go, um, and uh oh, frozen. frozen. But he she like. Her can still kind of like she's still a little bit with a little it bit so solid. she just <laughs> says one last try she drops it from above it rotates and boom perfect mm-hmm. yay yeah before then we do see that daddy daddy demon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes batty demon say it again say it to the camera batty, daddy <laughs> demon oh batty demon uh <laughs> turns into the mayor yes yes and his name is Kareem Abdul Kabal. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, and right before this, in order to get Marnie to the pumpkin for to put the talisman Going in to it, the pumpkin um, Luke redeems himself for yes. being a bad guy. All movie, um, he takes her cape, and he's a distraction. He starts to yeah. realize that he so, done goofed. Yeah. He's so not- Calabar 
he liked the power that Calabar like gave him. He got to be this like henchman, but then when Calabar started hurting people, mm, then Luke he realized was like, he was on the wrong team. And, and he's yeah. just like Sean in that regard. And so he, uh, <laughs> which the, aired on ABC once again, uh, thanks Disney. I don't even know what you want from me at this point. It's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> So uh, the, the the frozen folk they cut to me later in a it's always sunny meme with like the, <laughs> yeah the, all the, the male the male all folk. the red yarn everywhere <laughs> just connecting Great everything cigarette. back yeah. to yeah. Out. so uh, you guys the, come in tomorrow I'm still here yeah. you don't understand <laughs> Halloween right. Town guys it's in everything Halloween Town they had toys. Toy Story. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Um, the only movie with toys. You're right. <laughs> the only one. <laughs> Didn't know it. So they, uh, they, uh, the frozen folk come back, mom, grandma, they show up, and that's when, um, uh, Cash, Cashy Later <laughs> is like, hey, I'm mad at you, woman. Talking to mom there. Yeah. Uh, like, we had a thing, clearly. We that, were going to rule this and world. You chose and you, a mortal. Yes. Yeah. So all of this is really all about her. Um, and so, and he's like, hey, I'll t- be taking that now and gets the Taliban. No, <laughs> no, the, the no. Tala, the Talis man, the Talis man. Wow. <laughs> you honestly, did not get the Taliban. That was an honest mistake. <laughs> and so gets the Talis man. It's like, hey, you got 1998. You can't talk like that. you got you can't talk. You got nothing you on me. I've got like it. That. That's exactly right. <laughs> and uh, hey, I'm going to do some stuff. And so that's when Dylan, uh, he's getting, Dylan's getting peeved right the O off. Yeah. Peeved right the O off. And, is, and he starts to see some uh, sparkles from his fingers. Mm. And he has. He's Dylan's force. Fingers. That's exactly right. That's right. He <laughs> is fingers. a warlock. Uh, and so he's able to like go whew, whew, uh, and do some stuff there. Probably just a stack of electricity. <laughs> yes. And so, um, boom, no we problem. Dylan on the line. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here. How's it feel to be number four? Excuse me while I push my glasses up. Thank you. Um, So then, uh, Grandma. First in your heart, fourth in your ranking. (laughs) Yeah, probably. That's accurate, I guess. I don't know. Um, But you would agree. He's a one and one. Yeah. I'm a warlock, but Brand's mom is a whorlock. (laughs) (laughs) That's tough. That's tough. And I do say, <laughs> Mom, I'm, Mom, I'm sorry. I'm pretty about sure that. we're going to have to. We're I don't think so. There's nothing we can do. Now. There's nothing we. This is a different type of show, apparently. <laughs> it's like, a different. This is Decom Descendants. This I don't, is Decom I don't Descendants. Know. We can't air that. It's its There's own no thing. way we can air that. I mean, you did just basically accuse Halloween Town of being the birthplace of 9 11, but you know, I don't know I what can't. you want from me. You're putting words in my mouth. You're putting words in my mouth. But honestly, uh, <laughs> have we looked into it? <laughs> so. Uh, Grandma's really, able to get really fun <laughs> Grandma's able to get it back. Uh, hey, get out of here, Scram! We don't want we don't want you here anymore. Uh, it's at this point that um, Luke turns into uh, and I'll go again. I'll go again. And um, uh, Barney's These like, people. "Hey, oh my gosh, wow!" And he's like, "I wish I would have asked you on a date." Well, while I was cute, and she's like, and then kisses him on the cheek, which causes her her cheek to graze his giant nose, and it jiggles. There was some smush and jiggling going on there. It was a lot, and I didn't like that. Aaron, how's the movie end? <laughs> Come on, Aaron. I don't even know. Um, so the movie ends with mom deciding that she is going to finish, start and finish Marnie's yes. witch training. And I think it's too little too late, personally. I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes. And she has Sophie's invited, clearly above and beyond. Yeah. Well, Sophie's younger. I mean, the, I guess the, the training doesn't start by your 13th Halloween. The power will go away. I'm a little hazy on that, but I think... I'm Sophie, just saying, I think it's too little too late. I no, think... I think she's fine. Okay. Um, three movies after this, we'll speak otherwise. Um, okay. And then they invite grandma to come live with them because she can only visit on Halloween. But if she lives with them, get an invite to live. It's like a vampire yeah. coming in your house. Well, like I mean, she can like she can stay as long as she wants in the mortal world. But if she wants to go home to Halloween Town, that bus is only running on oh, Halloween. Oh, I got you. So it's a bus problem. Yeah. Tramp. Um, so what's the plan though? Here is it is it for uh, them to only go to Halloween Town on Halloween? That's the yeah, plan. grandma will spend the next year living with them. So they're just going to do witch training in the mortal world for yes. all to see? Yes. Oof. Bold. 
That is bold. Let's see what happens in Halloween Town 2. Speaking of bold, let's take our first break at 43 minutes. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're getting there, man. We're just trying the best we can. We did what just now? It's a 43-minute break. I don't know. The break is before the com chat. Has to be. I don't know. I agree. I think it has to be. I mean, if people are going to hear, like, Dylan call your well, mom Well, come back, everybody. We can, we can get some ad Welcome money back. from him first. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're having a good time. It's time for overtime. It's I think where we're we too good of a time. Yeah. <laughs> it's where we talk about uh, the things and the stuff and how this movie aged over time and all that good stuff. Aaron, you've seen this movie. I yeah. thought I had seen this movie. Turns mm-hmm. out I have not seen this movie. Fairly certain I only saw Halloween Town two. Did not like it, and I'm starting to realize it's because I had no idea what was going on. That's all fair. of that is beginning to mm, come to so mind I'll here. Start to click in. So I'll let you go as the one person I'm assuming Dan has not seen this movie before what? this. Yeah, and what? so Aaron, on, you you go ahead. You let everybody know how, for as somebody who did see it back in '98 how this uh, aged for you over time. I'm seeing it now in yeah, 2024. As someone who Lord. saw it back in 1998 and has probably seen it every year since. <laughs> every year since. It is one of my Halloween movies that I watch. Um, yeah, holds up for me. I love this movie. I love the Cromwell Witches. Um, I love the whole Halloween town world. Um, yeah, I think it holds up. Big fan. Dan, I'm going to do something that I think is going to surprise you. I'd love to hear it, Which is I'm going to take a step back and choose how to act. (laughs) And I'm going to say... I like this movie a lot. I think that this movie is very fun. Um, Really like that. We talked about a little bit in the movie while we were watching it. Um, uh, Take the tape.com if you want to watch us watch it. It's fun. (laughs) Um, good sell. It's a we, good sell. You get a lot. Uh, it's a commentary track. You just watch along with us. Or you can Jam Plus dot com and just sign up for the all access. That's you can true. watch the video. You can do that too. Um, I really like that. They, like they're, these are like masks and costumes and like the sets really Practical cool. Effects, like yeah. the big big pumpkins, dope. Like um, you know the demon baddie. Okay, so like overall, there's a lot going on with this movie. It felt. You know, looking back at last week at Brink, where there's, you know, what? Barely like, a plot. <laughs> no, that's all we're going to say. Like, three different, like, set pieces. Yes, there's his yes, house, there's the, 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 the skates, and then there's the competition. Play. Okay, maybe four with where uh, Team X Blades uh, skates. So, like, this felt bigger it felt like there was a lot more money thrown at it and not just because of the star power of Debbie Reynolds, which is above and beyond, obviously. It just felt like this movie was Disney Channel saying, hey, we're ready to play and we've got the money to prove it. It felt Mm -hmm. like maybe they saw a little bit of success with Brink, and I don't know, but maybe they were like, hey, we have a thing with Brink. Like, what if we really, if we could do anything, what would we do? Well, kids love Halloween. Let's do this big Halloween movie. And I think it worked really well. So uh, somebody who had never (laughs) seen it but loves these type of movies, this movie didn't disappoint. I'm glad that I have finally seen it and uh, would watch again. Dano? Yeah, I don't disagree a lot with that. I don't know if I'm as high on it as you, but I dug it. I I thought this is what I expected. Dan dug the movie. Dan, he dug the movie. I don't get your shovel out and do what dig. I don't get your shovel out. And do what did? No, we're not shuffling. <laughs> Sorry, I, I did it. Yeah, he the first one was he just so good. Like we had choreographed that yeah. one. Take a shovel out and do a dick. This was terrible. That was maybe the worst of the three. You're like a full second behind. Uh, I we <laughs> dang it. We Go do ahead. another podcast where it's a big deal if I like a movie. I, I don't think that that carries over here. I care about these movies more than I care but about Hallmark my movies. My job is, like, I don't come in saying I despise DCOMs. I don't have a, an opinion on DCOMs. Uh, I don't, like, obviously, like, I'm not watching this in my spare time, nor am I watching it every Halloween. But well, first of all, the Debbie Reynolds of it all, this is the first time I believe we've mentioned her name. Maybe second, I did mention her in the Danny Go bit. Thank goodness. I just mentioned her. But, but no that, that is, I, did, I, I stopped listening with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I didn't. I was listening. I just forgot. Debbie Reynolds. Uh, De- Debbie. 
So much better. <laughs> it's so much better. That, that you forgot what I just said. It's so much better. Debbie Reynolds is a national treasure. She owns this park. The idea of a family being secret witches and warlocks and her showing up and being like, why you got to be secret about it? Come on down to Funky Town, which is Halloween Town in this case. It's a fun idea for kids. Kids can like imagine this and like mm-hmm. really get invested. And then you get to Halloween Town and they could go all super green screeny and crazy and they don't. There's a lot of practical effects. Robin Thomas is giving a better performance than the movie deserves. He and Debbie Reynolds both are. So, yeah, I mean, I at some point, the amount of costumes and the, some of the stuff I just isn't for me and just overly goofy. But unlike Brink, which felt like it just was for like a, 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 a Venn diagram of such a small circle, this movie has broad appeal, mass appeal. My only big issue is, is that it takes a while to have a plot. I mean, by the time that the kids realize they have to find these three things on their own, we are almost an hour into this movie and there's only 25 minutes left. And so most of the movie is set up, but because you have Robin Thomas and Debbie Reynolds in there, that setup becomes a lot more fun. And you have a fantastical plot that allows them to go from place to place, a fun magic bus. All of that is really, really fun. So yeah, this is kind of on the high end of my expectation for what I thought we were going to be getting with this podcast. And so yeah, happy, happy to have watched it. 83 minutes. Perfect. Those other ones too long. That's the other thing is this was only 83 minutes. I think that helped too. So yeah, I, I think it holds up for a movie that you would watch with your, you know, seven, eight, nine year old. Your 33 uh, year old, whatever. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, I do want to uh, add, do something uh, a little bit different this week. Also with this segment, which is to responsive um, reading, bring special in music at the end. No, bring in, no uh, uh, bring in an app that didn't exist when this movie uh, first came out. Uh, letterbox, letterbox and read some reviews and see how uh, the people think that this movie has aged over time. I have a few for you. One, uh, this is from Lucy. Lucy reviews this movie a few times. Um, one, she says uh, their mom is literally a whole witch and was like, please, God, let my children grow up to be accountants. Why would you wish that mundane life on them, woman? And then Lucy also says, someone mentions the movie Halloween 1978. Me slap a town at the end of that, and you've got my attention. <laughs> Sarah, we'll Sarah says, you know, I was kind of hungry, but then I smelled something stinky. It must have been the big cheese. Thank you, Sarah, Great. for that. Uh, Lindsay says, seeing the gay werewolf in this when I was six years old set my life on a very specific course. Thank you, Lindsay, for that. Uh, Penny says, take a shot every time Marnie says something to her mother that would get you slapped if you said it to yours. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Sarah says, Marnie is such an F and B. I love her. <laughs> Um, and then Gwen says, Hey, chocolate bar. Uh, so I think what we're trying to get across here is this movie slaps. That's, yeah. that's the big takeaway here. Let's Halloween, take one more slap a town. On that's exactly like we, right. We gave away 43 minutes of content and then gave him like two seconds more and took another break. Am it I was 10 there? more minutes. No. We'll be right back. Uh, Dan, again, uh, just be supportive now. And then we can talk about it after <laughs> do you come to some you act like Aaron Shea didn't also complain about the first break being that long in. It was just me or something. I would never. How dare you? Just kidding. I did also. Yes, thank Welcome you. back. Yeah, no, it's it's it gets longer every time. We we're gonna have to make a change. <laughs> Take a chance. Break away. Welcome back to Decom Descendants. It's time for the final segment, which is making the list. It is where we put this movie on our ranking Letterbox. chart. <laughs> Also letterboxed. Um, Promo code DCOM. That's exactly right. This is... uh, what, we're not sure, but try it out. Yep, give it a go. That's exactly right. Uh, Aaron, where are you... Number uh, one. Number one. (laughs) Interrupt much? God. I'm just trying to save some time. Number one. We got to get to another ad, I think. uh, (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. Um, (laughs) We just progressively, the breaks come sooner and sooner. It's like 43, (laughs) then 10, then 5, then 1, then... Aaron, what are you... Oh, hold on, break. 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 I have this at number three. Um, so number one. Yes. That's what you have it? That's where, tell me out. 
We're asking you. Oh, me? I thought I thought we were I still was on still you. talking to you. No, Brand said so. Number one that you had. Oh that's yeah, what you yeah. Have it. Oh yeah, number one. And then what? So what's your? You have number one, and then you have what? Brink two, under wraps two, Brink two, under wraps three. You lucky dog four. Um, let's double check. I believe you lucky dog is for sure last. <laughs> you lucky dog is last in our our hearts and on our list. And I yeah, think that's, it is Halloween Town. Brink, uh, you lucky. Um, uh, under wraps, you lucky dog. Uh, Halloween Town will also premiere at my number one spot this week. Uh, so we've watched four movies. Halloween Town, number one. Number two, Under Wraps. Number three, Brink. And number four, You Lucky Dog. And I will say this. I've thought about Brink a lot since I watched it. Because anytime you have like such a strong reaction... I, like anytime you ruin someone's life, uh, you got to think I, it through a I little bit. I do feel like there's some good... like the way that the skating scenes were filmed. I just wish I cared about any other aspect of that movie at all. And I, I want to put it second, but my mind just won't let me. So I'm sorry, but it's still third for me. Um, yeah. Halloween town one overall. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. I can. Uh, so everybody knows this about me. I have a very scientific way of ranking movies. You pray to the good Lord. Obviously spend time in the war room, pray fast, Etc. Fast. I do. Okay. <clears throat> Not for long until the the delicious segment. So yes, it's really just like yeah, yeah, really close. Um, but I um I I think through enjoyment level and I think through quality and I try to come up with some sort of sense of any of it. And sometimes it's hard. Like Wonk ended up number one on my movie list last year. <laughs> and anytime I say that out loud, there's no, I, I understand what yes. I'm saying, yes. but I have not enjoyed a movie that much in a long, long time. And so it outweighed the quality of other movies, which were better movies. And I'm aware that they were better movies. And so this is tough because I went into this thinking, will Brink ever be topped? Will Brink ever I be topped? I can't believe we're dragging this out. Is Brink already not number one anymore for you? Brink is already not number one for oh me. Oh, my anymore. gosh. I'm trying to be All better. All this talk for months In leading his up events, to this. he hadn't seen Halloween Town. And I haven't seen his. I, I, I've seen Brink a lot, but I haven't seen a lot of these movies in a oh long time. Oh, my goodness. I'm I happy. Think- I'm happy that you did the right thing, but I'm shocked that this is happening. Well, and, but can I like Brink for me is still a more enjoyable movie, not by a crazy margin, but it, it's definitely more enjoyable for me and more quotable, etc. Halloween for Town. Were, it is for those of us that were eight. It is not Halloween Town has folks walking around with pumpkins on their heads, and it's awesome and it's dope. And so I have to take that into account. I have to try to be unbiased here. I'm trying to do my best, dude. I appreciate this from you. And so, and I wish you would do the same. And so, I just think <laughs> that's that, exactly what I'm doing. Well, and I just think that as I am maturing, maturing, <laughs> and uh, do, doing the hard work here. Um, I have to, I have to be honest with myself and say the better movie is Halloween town. Wow, man. I can't believe it. Brian, you've grown so much. Yeah. What a big deal. Wonka's is still the best the first movie the time year. since under wraps. We, we've all had the same number one. Uh, yes. Yeah. But I also, I still, I have, uh, I have you lucky dog at three. Yeah. yeah you have so that head <laughs> under wraps and you should be shot on sight. I don't have any, like that's ridiculous. Kirk Cameron dog. I, uh, um, it's a good time for me. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. And before, do we have anything else before we wrap it up? <laughs> you got something to do? Well, oh, I just you, wanna, I had something else to, to plug, and got I word coming in that Aaron has something else, but didn't tell uh, us. We got uh, anything else? Or I was anything just, just going to say, Can I that that if you ever go wanted ahead. to go to Halloween Town for real, you can go to Helen's, Oregon, which is where they filmed this movie. And every year at Halloween, Hi, I'm Helen. They decorate the town square. Big like pumpkin. It, like do it you was, mean, yes. Oh. It's, it's easy to Google. Just Helen's Oregon Halloween Town. Yeah, they put the big pumpkin out. They do this thing every year to celebrate Halloween Town. So, are we going to go there for the vlog this Halloween? So I don't know. Saint Helens, Saint Helens, Oregon. Man, well, there you have it. <laughs> well, the Google search I found just said Helens. <laughs> Wow. This is exciting. That's pretty yeah. cool. I think we should do that for the vlog. I think, at the very least, the budget for this show has us going to Oregon, right? 
Like the budget, we can all fly out. Well, there. at least by October. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll be mega podcast stars. That's exactly right. Yeah. Spirit goes to Oregon, does it? Please, for the Correct. love of God, review this podcast <laughs> yeah. and uh, share Hope it with a friend. Let us Oregon. know if you want us to go to Oregon. Yes, please let us know. Uh, thank you so much to I'll everybody <laughs> for listening. Next week, we are uh, heading to, to Xenon. That's correct, yeah, Aaron. We're excited century. about that. there every week so far. A movie I have seen 100% one time. One time. So I'm excited to go I back to I have also seen it one time plus many more. <laughs> what a way to say it. Um, anything else to say before Aaron gets to go to else, that next Aaron? thing? Aaron, do we have anything else? Anything else on the dock? We're good to go? Um, Any fun facts you found out about the movie? We may not be here next week. <laughs> We're doing the best we can. We, Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And uh, until next week, <laughs> uh, decom yourself. Uh, dang it. No, can't say that. Can't say that. Decom Descendants is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's produced by Brandon Gray. For more information on Decom Descendants, you can go to decompodcast.com. Find us on the socials at Decom Descendants. If you want to watch us watch these movies live, just go to bramblejamplus.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day.